this little video clip is a part of a blog that I'll be publishing today. So I'll put the link to the blog on WordPress as well for, uh, for you to get more information. But um, I just want to give you a quick overview of, uh, of what I mean by um, doing a provisioning process for Microsoft Teams and then adding corporate type of tabs in there to help users. So we know that when we create a team, it creates a general channel by default. So that's always in there. And what I suggest is to use that general channel to add your corporate type of um, websites, information, etc. So this would be part of your provisioning process and that you can find more details on in the actual blog post, which I'll share a URL to. So when you look at this um, general channel, you'll see that I've removed Wiki because I prefer to use the OneNote. But um, I've added the company intranet and uh, that of course can go to any other website. I added it by using the website tab, not SharePoint, because SharePoint will link to the site behind this Microsoft team. I've also added a page from my website, which I call news, where I'm actually um, bringing all the latest news articles together. So right here, you can find all the latest news articles. Yams is uh, something that I actually wrote about previously, about bringing your Yammer conversations into your teams. And this is again by building a page that has multiple web parts on it for uh, different Yammer groups. Then the product hub is a, is a portal that I build for all the products in the company. And that helps me to share information about that product. Where can they get help? What is the latest features? What is this product used for? And even things like, um, how do I get training? Any social media links, support, feedback, and any business governance. So this specific page I use to share latest news about that um, specific product. And this should be maintained by your product specialists or that uh, evangelist forum, um, if you like your custodians or your super users. Then, um, of course, in a previous blog, I also spoke about the vault. So in my team, I also bring in the vault, which helps people to find that ad hoc content that used to sit in file shares. You will only see the content that you have access to. So there you can see right there my Microsoft team. And then um, I've just added a new team tab. For now, I've just added the Microsoft um, SharePoint form the new form.aspx, but of course this could be a power app um, as well that you could just add um, beautifully and they can access it off their mobile apps as well. So those are just a little bit of an intro into how I add these different apps and how it will help the users to find whatever they need that is company or corporate related because we know that people don't navigate away from where they work every day to go to some website to go and find some information. So bring everything into their Microsoft Teams which uh, hopefully will become their new digital workplace soon.